OMG, so you is a liar? I can't even believe this. Hello, Trending Gist lovers. Welcome back to my channel. We're here to talk about Cardi B and Tasha K. If you've been watching YouTube, then you know that saga. Anyways, if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe if you love celebrity gist, gossip, and world news. Let's go. Okay, so if you're someone that you've been watching YouTube videos, then you know about the saga between Cardi B and... Tasha K. All right. So this YouTuber called Tasha K, for those of you that do not know who Tasha K is, I know you all know who Cardi B is. So Tasha K is a YouTuber that, you know, talks about celebrities. She interviews influential people and things like that on YouTube. So for about three to four years now, Tasha K has been talking about Cardi B and, you know, saying a whole lot of things. You know, she was alleging that Cardi B's private part, Cardi B had some kind of diseases and all of that. That's what Tasha K was alleging. And then Cardi B sent a message to her, told her to stop talking about her, cease and desist. Take down the video. Tasha K said, no, 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 no way. I'm not taking down my video. If you want to sue, sue. I don't care. All right, so since Tasha K refused to take down the video, Cardi B sued her and they've been in court. All right, so Tasha K will always come to her channel and talk about how she doesn't care. She's not afraid of Cardi. She will say whatever she wants to say and all of that. Now, the story is out that Cardi B just won the case and the court asked Tasha K to pay $1.25 million dollars for defamation and pain and all of that to Cardi B. So it is said that uh, Cardi B took the stand in court and she talked about how what Tasha K did really did hurt her at a point she didn't even want to, you know, engage with her husband like do the do with her husband anymore. She was feeling kind of very bad and down. She would cry and things like that. When it got to Tasha K's turn to testify, it is said that Tasha K went on the stand and said she lied about Cardi B's private path. Now, none of those things she said was true. Now I'm just thinking. So Tasha K sat down on YouTube misleading all her 1 million plus followers or so that she has on YouTube, telling them Cardi B is this, Cardi B is that, Cardi B has herpes, Cardi B has this one and that one. And now she went to court. And if you knew you were lying, why did you even stress to spend money in, uh, hiring lawyers, doing all these things you were doing, only to get to court to admit that you lied about it? Even though everything else she said uh, is actually true, the fact that she lied about Cardi B's private part, like some of the stories, not true, because now it is said that she admitted that she lied about it. She had to make money. This is just not cool, okay? You just cannot lie about someone and you're so bold, even when the person sent you a message telling you, stop talking about me or take that video down or those contents or those things you posted about me, you refused. And you kept on calling her out only to just realize that this is not true. Let me know in the comment section below if you really do think that Tasha K should pay Cardi B this 1.25 that the court has ordered her to pay. It's not as if she has a choice, but yeah, we know Tasha K has a, a huge following on YouTube, just as Cardi B has huge following all over um, the world, you know, because she's a, a rapper, people love her song, her music and all of that. We know, actually, I think both of them are really, both of them are hot mess, but Tasha K on this one, she was wrong. You cannot lie about someone just like that. Cardi B might be someone that talk a lot, but she has spent a lot of, um time walking sweat money and everything trying to get herself out there and now that she's now someone that people listen to she's making her way in the rap um hip-hop or rap game and all of that i just don't think this is cool tasha k shouldn't have done this to her you know a woman to another woman tasha k did not try if you were not telling the truth even though it was True, I just feel like it's a low blow talking about someone's private part and saying someone is um, uh, have sick with some kind of diseases allegedly and all of that. It was not cool, you know, even if it was true. That's not something you should say about another woman knowing fully well. But we all know Tasha K. Tasha K will say anything the way she wants to and she doesn't really care. She doesn't give a hoot what you or any other person want to say about her. She's always in a fight with one person or the other a youtuber a celebrity whatsoever even during her interviews you can see her going in hot 
and all of that. She's not afraid to ask any type of questions. She's not afraid to share any type of story. So I think a lot of her fans were actually rooting for her, believing that everything she said was actually the truth, not knowing that all this while, everything she said about this lady's private part was not true because it has been revealed in court that she lied and it was not true. And now she has to pay $1.25 million to her. Now the question on the streets of White is, does Tasha K have that kind of money? Let us know in the comment section what's your take.